This video, I am going to cover Cisco Talent Bridge matching engine for our members, or, and I think this is open for anyone that are going into tech positions. Now, do know that we are not affiliated with Cisco or SIT platform. This is something that I was approached by one of their representative, and they are associated with Cisco. So go ahead and give it a try because anything that where something can get you closer to a job um, and you're looking for a job, then I think it's uh, it's not going to hurt you uh, trying something new other than your classic way of finding a job from Indeed, LinkedIn. These should be your first options anyway because you want to be really open when you're looking at jobs from everywhere. So LinkedIn should be first. Um, Indeed, all of these big areas, you need to be very heavily uh, involved in that. And this is another option for you. So use this link. Once you get this link, go ahead and click on create an account. You're going to get a code in your email. So go ahead and get that code and put it right here and then click on confirm. So once you confirm your email and name correctly, then you need to choose a country that you're applying for jobs. I don't think they have remote option. I try to look for that. So there's no remote. So these jobs are going to be um, maybe remote inside a specific country in a city. So you still have to put that information. So I'm I'm going to put where I live and that would be United States of America. And then put all that information and everything correct because these are, if somebody's interested, they have to either call you or send you an email. So make sure you put the right information. Now make sure to put your LinkedIn profile here. And before putting your LinkedIn profile, at least uh, do some research. You can type, go to YouTube, type job skills, share space LinkedIn. And there's a video that we have created for LinkedIn profile. So maybe you should follow those suggestions before you put the link here. Because like I said, you want to present yourself the best for these jobs when they're looking for you. So put the information here then select the language and then come over here and say, I provide my consent to processing my sensitive personal data for the purposes of this demographic and demographic reporting. And it's your personal choice. You want to say yes or no, that's your choice. And these other options are based on your status. Make sure to choose those options and then click on next. Here, go ahead and get the information, whichever degree you hold, master's degree, bachelor's degree, whichever that is. And then here, make sure when you put the degree information uh, for computer jobs, make sure to say computer science. And then here, are you a NETCAD? Um, do you have like a NETCAD account? So say no to that if you don't have that. I'm going to say no to this graduation date. If you have one, just go ahead and put that and click on next. Now, this is important information for the JSS uh, members. If you have different certification, you can definitely come over here. And if you have uh, badges, you can put that. But for certificate, if you come over here and you have A plus or um, industry type of certification, then that's great. If you don't have one, you can say other industry certification and then type the name of the certificate. For example, if you got the modern IT support part one, part two, or anything, you just type the name and the number is on the certificate. So let me show you that example. So if you go back to your My Courses and click on Achievement, and if you have finished a course with us, and let's say you got this certificate, so you're going to right click or just click on it and it will open the certificate. So here you can just get the whole name. So I will just get the first part of it. You don't need to put this or if you want to, that's fine. Let's go ahead and just get that and then go back to the website, copy paste. So you got that information and then you have to come over here again. Let's go ahead and open and get this number. So then if somebody wants to verify and they can call you back or, you know, whatever reason they want to verify that with the same number, then you will be able to just add it just like that. So you can add multiple certification and highly recommend if you do have certification and you should from the skills development side, this is really going to be unique than any other, um, you know, people that are looking for. So if you have a plus or other certification, that's really good too. So whatever you have, you need to put it right here and then click on next. Now, this is an important side because there's a lot of jobs that are non-networking, meaning even it's from Cisco, they have a lot of help desk sysadmin positions available from companies that are working with them. So they put these opportunities in this area. So my recommendation is to go over this list and put yourself in one to two years of experience. Now, 
I know a lot of people will be like, I'm so new, I don't have any experience. And that's later on because the problem is that when you do below that, the opportunities might go below this number. So take that uh, consideration later when you see the job description because there's a lot of job description even when they put experience and sometimes they say preferred. Those type of terms, they don't put it here. So you don't want to cut down that opportunity. So just put everything in the middle like one to two, one to two, one to two and then move on to the next uh, side. You can skip this one. When you go to the opportunities, make sure to put everything full, check mark everything here. Uh, make sure it's technical and this make sure you say enable yes to remote work a lot of people want that make your availability at the earliest and then uh, choose a full uh, like you know state or if you want to do multiple countries you can do that and then you click uh, save and then document is where you upload the resume that you have been using now in this section you want to make sure you upload the resume that we have given you that going to be a good resume to get some attention uh, and if you don't know where to get that resume you can go back to your IT support uh, this is available to for everybody if you go to my courses and type resume inside the courses this is the course that you want to open and then download for IT support you need to come over here click on download sample resume and uh, then basically follow along and of, of course i feel like you should be finishing this course you'll probably get more information than, than just this platform you're going to be in a good shape so once you save this on the top you will see opportunities now keep in mind that these type of uh, numbers may change like it may be very less in the beginning and just give it some time uh, and then come back after like 30 40 minutes or one hour so this changes i have seen this change from two to one thousand and now I have opportunities available in Chicago, in the U.S., everywhere. I can change it if I want to be local. But if I want to look for, let's say, help desk, I will search for help desk. And there you go. We got a help desk positions available and uh, in different areas. And it says United States of America. That probably is a remote um, because that's what they say, uh, United States of America. And uh, you see that I can click here and they will put their information then. We're looking for technician one, okay? So if you come over here, these are the things that you have learned in our fundamental courses, Active Directory, Office 365. Keep in mind, you do not need to know every single thing in this wish list. I, this is a wish list, basically. They're, they're wishing for it. But as an IT support professional, nobody can do 100% for any job description in this whole world. There's no such thing. So if you know... The major things, computer troubleshooting, computer management from your courses, Active Directory, how to add a user, how to reset their password, Office 365, um, basic backup, basic, basic antivirus stuff, basic stuff, you are prepared for this job. That's it. If you have done that, hands on, you're done, you need to apply. So once you apply, your applied for opportunities will come over here and that's a great way for you to kind of like keep applying to a lot of places and uh, you never know, you may get a call back. And if you do get a call back, then I 100% say that you should be finishing this course because that's not the only place you need to be really dependent on because that's just one platform. you got to use this searching for jobs techniques from this 20 minutes long video. Then you need to finish the interview part because that's the second step. If they call you, then are you even prepared for technical interviews, for soft skills interviews? This is where you need to be then for the help desk jobs and get that finished. If you finish this, I, have, I feel like so many people have done this and uh, garden jobs and, and that time this platform was not available so this is an extra feature for you now so definitely give it a try um, with this again a reminder go back to linkedin linkedin jobs indeed jobs craigslist jobs monster jobs dice.com jobs that the things that we have shown you over here and keep trying till you get these jobs thank you